Case number 40, we've got this polynomial here, f of x, and it's in terms of p and q, isn't it? But they do tell you x minus 2 is a factor. So if x minus 2 is a factor, okay, that implies that f of 2 is equal to 0, yeah, using the remainder theorem, okay, because x minus a is a factor, f of a is 0. So in this case, f of 2 is 0. So we can substitute that in, can't we? So um, we can put 4 times 2 cubed plus p times 2 squared minus 11 times 2 plus q, and we know that then that f of 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's simplify this here. That would be 32, that would be 4p, okay? That would be 22, and that'll be plus q equals to 0. So we get 4p plus q, and then 32 take away 22 is 10 equals to 0. Okay, so we've got like an equation here which we can use. It's in terms of P and Q. So what we need now is another equation in terms of P and Q, and then we can use simultaneous equations to get P and Q out. Now, we're given then situ another situation. We said, look, when it's divided by X plus 1, the remainder is 9. So that implies, okay, so X plus 1, the remainder um, is 9. That implies that F of minus 1, okay, using the remainder factor theorem here, will equal to 9, okay? That's what that means there. So, if I substitute that in, um, I'll have the, um, I'll have in that equation there, yeah, 4 minus 1 cubed plus P minus 1 squared minus 11 minus 1 plus Q equals to 9, okay? So, that becomes minus 4, that becomes P that becomes 11, that becomes Q equals 9, okay? So I get then P plus Q, all right? And if I stick it to the same format as that, um, I've got then minus 4 plus 11 is um, 7. Bring that 9 over to the other side, it becomes a minus 9. So 7 minus 9 is minus 2 equals 0. So I've got equation 2 there. What I can do then is line these up. Okay, nicely, so 4p plus q plus 10 equals 0, p plus q minus 2 equals 0, and because the q's here are consistent, they're both 1q, I can just take them away, can't I? I can say 1 take away 2, so 4p take away p is 3p, q take away q goes, 10 take away minus 2, okay, now notice there'll be two minuses then, 10 take away minus 2, so that'll be plus 12, equals 0, and then I'll have 3p equals minus 12, when you take that over, so then p will be minus 12 divided by 3, which is minus 4. So I've got my p out, which is exactly what they want, all I've got to do then is sub it in to one of the other equations, so let's put it into 2, so we've got minus 4 plus q minus 2 equals 0, so that then implies Q will equal 6. So I've got the two answers that they've required.